Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for today's workout. My name is Mike, I'm gonna be your instructor today. Today we're doing three, three exercise circuits. Each exercise we're gonna do for 40 seconds, and then we'll have a five second transition just so we're not rushing those 40 seconds. And then after performing those three exercises, you get 50 seconds rest and we'll repeat each circuit three times. You'll need some dumbbells. We're gonna be using big compound uh, movements using the dumbbells in our body to really give ourselves a great strength workout, but also push our heart rate and our endurance as well, okay? So set up a nice clear area that's non-slip, set up your dumbbells, and then once you're ready, come join me for the workout. All right, let's start. Rotating those shoulders, swinging the arms, big circles. Nice, reversing that. You guys ready to work? I am. We're gonna have a great session. Definitely a challenging workout, but I'll show you some options so you can get through it and get your workout the way you need it. All right, rotating side to side, just warming up that spine. I tend to let the heel come up on the uh, back foot just so it doesn't, you know, not too much tension on my low back this early in the workout. Okay, let's touch down in a squat and reach up. You got it. There you go. Go slower if you need to, but try to come nice and down. Don't let those knees shoot forward, so nothing like that. Weight in the heels, coming back. Good, a few more there. Awesome, I want us to inchworm. So it looks like this, you're just gonna come down to a plank position and then come back up. Good stuff, give me one more of that. All right, then I want us to crab walk. Just make sure your hands are pointing away from your body. Just take a couple steps forward and a couple steps back, okay? 10 more seconds of this, and then I'm just gonna quickly walk you through our first circuit for the day. All right, if at home you wanna keep moving, you can do jumping jacks or a step jack. I'm gonna show you our movement. So we're gonna do a push up into a bent row. Our bent row is gonna look like this. And then into mountain climbers, okay? So coming down, getting ready, we're gonna go into push ups. I'll show you options, 40 seconds. All right, let's go. So your first option is a prayer position. So knees under your hips, coming down like this. You need something more advanced, then come up to your knees. And if that's too easy, come up to your toes. Now, if you're really good at push-ups and 40 seconds of push-ups is nothing for you, slow down, quick up. Slow down, quick up. Okay, five seconds left. Make sure your elbows aren't creeping up. Nice 45 degree tilt. All right, transitioning to those rows that I told you about. I'll show you a little side view. Here we go, 40 seconds of rows. Pulling back and up, no rounding of the spine. So chest is out and proud, shoulders are down and back. Belly button's drawn in. Pull those elbows up and back. I'll show you from the front. You notice my elbows come right beside my rib cage and my wrists are quiet, meaning they're not flexing or pulling in. Okay. We're doing three rounds of each circuit. So the good news is, if you didn't quite get it right on the first circuit, consider it a warm up for rounds two and three, and you can really dial it in. All right, last exercise in this circuit, mountain climbers. Coming back to that push-up position. First option, just drawing one knee in at a time. Full option is full gas, okay? Do what's right for you. This is gonna rev up that heart rate. It's also working your core, hands, shoulders. Come on, you get a break after this. 20 seconds, halfway through. That's it, good work. Come on, come on. 10 seconds, strong to the end. So if you're firing it, 
Keep working it. Fast, fast, fast. Come on. All right, and rest. You get a 50 second break. Here's what I want from you. I want high intensity while you're going through that circuit. Really push yourself and then take advantage of these breaks. I don't want you skipping or marching or trying to move during the breaks. Rest, catch your breath, let your body recover so you can bring that intensity to circuit number two, okay? All right, if you found something was too hard, choose a lighter weight or one of the easier options I showed. If you found it too easy, heavier weight or one of the harder options I've showed, okay? Do what's right for you. Breathe. <laughs> Good work. You guys ready to start round two? Okay, transitioning to the floor. Push-ups, 40 seconds, here we go. Start with the hardest option you can maintain good form on. You can always, during the 40 seconds, drop to an easier option. There we go. You'll notice my push-ups aren't super fast. I'm trying to make the muscles work and really make this a good focused strength exercise. Okay, and I'm dropped to my knees now. It's about what I can do for my toes. Just an example. A few seconds left, push the end of the set. All right, right onto those bent rows. Let's go, let's go. You got it, pull. Yes, let's go. Good work. Again, from the side, no rounding in the back. No slouching. Pull it in. To me, this is a great core exercise. And then also huge for the back and biceps. If you find your weight, even your heaviest set of weights is too light, slow it down. It'll actually make it harder. Okay. That's it. Final few seconds. All right, transitioning to those mountain climbers. Hit it with speed. The rest is after this. Let's go. So if you can, full gas. If you need to, one leg at a time, a little slower pace. Okay? Do what makes sense for you, but push. 20 seconds to the break. You can do it. Maintain good form, draw that belly button in. And rest. 50 second break here. Feel free to grab a drink. Good for you. Okay, if you didn't like any of these three exercises, good news. We do them one more time, then you're done with them. How great is that, right? Cool. Catch your breath, grab a drink if you need it. You'll notice with today's workout, it's just classic, big moves, big hard work. Bring the energy, bring the intensity. We'll get it done together, okay? All right, getting ready. Final set of push-ups on the floor. Let's go. Remember, if you can do push-ups easily, slow them down. Challenge yourself. You can always start with that hard option and then drop to the easier one. Come on, push, push, push. 10 seconds, strong to the end, let's go. Get your reps in. Last set of push-ups. Woo! Okay, Ben Rose. Let's go, bring it. Good work, here we go. All right, so two more circuits like this. The next one has a little bit more leg work in it. 
Now rev your heart rate a little bit more. But I think it'll be worth it. 15 seconds. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together at the top. Come on. All right, transition to the floor. Final time doing mountain climbers. Let's go. Push yourself. Heart rate should come up. This should feel difficult. If you can, do that full speed. Keep breathing. I know you can hear me breathing. Halfway through. Come on, come on. Quick, 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 keep the pace up. 10 seconds. Get it, get it, get it. It's worth it. Dig in right now and get it done. Awesome. 50 second break. Done with those exercises. Why don't I show you the next three exercises? You just rest, don't follow along with me. First one's gonna be a thruster, okay? I know, if you know what a thruster is, you're taking me already. Weights out in front, squat down, explode up. Okay, if you need to, you can even drop to one dumbbell. Okay, total body movement will ele elevate your heart rate too. Second movement will be a bridge. So we're gonna alternate, it's just a hold, okay? And our last movement is gonna be a skier hop. All right, you ready? Let's go, 40 seconds of thrusters. Starts now, let's go. Squat down deep, use your whole body to shoot the dumbbells up. I'll show you from the side. Probably the hardest movement we'll do today. Like I said, you can always drop to one dumbbell if you need to, or no dumbbells. Five seconds, come on. Get, get it, get it, let's go. Nice. Bridge, come down. Fingertips should be able to touch your ankles. Bring your back of your heels, sorry. Bring your hips up. If you want, take one leg away. If that's too easy, you can stack two dumbbells on your hips to add to the load, okay? This is all about muscle control, protecting your spine. Just alternating, taking one leg away to challenge that hip a little bit. If you want, you can also brace with your hands on the floor. That'll make it a bit more stable. All right, coming up to your feet. Skier hops. Let's go. So, side to side, two foot hop. You can make them really big and really wide, or you can make them really small. Choose what's right for you. I want to see you do as big as you can though, okay? Come on. Lateral motion, heart rate up. Working on generating power out of her legs. Almost there. Break. Hard circuit, right? I put it in once you were warmed up. So you're safe to get at it, but not so late that you're tired and it'll get sloppy. Catch your breath. Still have 35 seconds. Grab a drink of water if you need it. So on those thrusters, think to yourself, could I have done more? Was it too easy? Was it too hard? And adjust it, okay? 20 seconds. I'm proud of you. We're in the middle of the workout now. We're giving it. Bring the energy, bring the effort to this workout. It'll help you be a better you, okay? We want the healthiest version of you showing up every single day. I want you brimming with energy and excitement. Thrusters, you ready? Let's go. 
Boom, let's get it. So sitting back, knees don't shoot forward. Coming nice and deep, as deep as you can. Halfway through the thrusters. You can always drop to one dumbbell or no dumbbells if you're just struggling to keep moving. But try to keep moving. 10 seconds, come on. Yes. We getting it. Yes. Boom. All right, back to that bridge hold. I'll show you with the weights this time. So it look like this if you're adding the weight. I like to just straighten the leg. That way only one of your legs can support the movement. It's a little more challenging. If you can't do that, then just both feet on the floor. Nice, strong posture. And you don't have to have the weights if you don't want. If you haven't done this before, probably without weights is gonna be plenty. 10 seconds left in the hold. Round two, coming to a close. Okay, setting the weights aside. Skier hops. You at home, give me those big explosive hops. Nice soft landings. That, that's too much, you can always go small, okay? Challenge you. Let's go, come on. Big hops, let's go. Yes. Fifteen seconds. Come on, come on. The break is after this. Don't ease up. Elevating that heart rate right now. That's on purpose. Rest. Good work. Fifty second break. Last time through. You guys good? All right. You are more than halfway done today's workout. How cool does that sound, right? Good. Same with me, you see, I'm breathing, I'm trying hard, I'm here with you, I'm feeling it too. Okay, so we got thrusters, bridge, skier hops, get you a break, give you three new exercises to finish out the workout, which I think the, some of the finishing ones are super fun. Okay, let's go. Thrusters, transitioning, get set, go. Total body movement, really nothing gets a break here. Hopefully your heart rate's down a little bit from the skier hops. Twenty seconds. Finish it, don't ease up. 10 seconds, come on. Last round. Five seconds. All right. Into that bridge, I'm gonna show it this time without the weight, but I'm still gonna take away a leg. Hips come up, draw the pelvic floor in, belly button in, glutes are firing so that your knees aren't sagging in. Firing the glutes, low back. Good. Also catch your breath before those skier hops, right? 10 seconds, you can do it. Learning to brace and control the spine. That's why we're doing a hold. We're not doing the traditional reps. Okay, coming up to standing. Big skier hops, best set you can give me right now. So remember, you at home, if you can give me big, you give me big, okay? Don't ease up, you get a break after this. Fifteen seconds, come on, come on. Strong to the end. Oh, 
almost there. All right, 50 second break. Last circuit. You ready to hear what we have in store? All right, let me show you. You take your break. First up, a dumbbell snatch. If you can, grab both dumbbells. You're gonna come down as far as you can where you don't round your back. For me, it's somewhere around there. And then I'm gonna pull up and finish with them overhead. Okay, so I'm really pulling using the back side of the body. Then we're gonna do planks and jump squats. So it's a no joke circuit, right? Okay, I'll show you a few more dumbbell snatches from the front. If you're using one, it'll look like this. Get your rate ready, three, two, one, go. I'll show you double to start. Last half of the set, I'll show single just so it gives people a variety. Really drive using the back of the legs and the upper back. Don't let this turn into a press. Use momentum to throw those dumbbells to the sky. Okay, and I'll show you now alternating. Boom. Boom. Just like that. 10 seconds. Okay, planks, lots of options here. Come down to your knees if you want. Or up on your toes. Next hardest option is take away a leg. Alternate taking a leg away. Or rotate taking a hand away. I'm gonna show you from the front. Don't shift your weight like this. If you're taking a hand away, it just looks like this. Okay. 15 seconds, pick the form that works for you. You can always progress to an easier one as you get tired. Keep holding, okay? Five seconds left, hang in there. Awesome, coming back up to standing. You're gonna do air squats or jump squats. Jump squats look like this. Just make sure the bum's coming back, let's go. Or you can just give me air squat. Give me whatever you can, just try to stay in motion. You get a 50 second rest after this set. Okay? Come on, keep jumping if you can. Heart rate's up, breathing's up. Let's go, let's get it. Make it count right here. No quitting, no quitting. All right, 50 second break. Chill out. Two more times through this circuit and you are done, all right? Good work, I'm proud of you. Okay, so double dumbbell snatch. You guys keep resting, I'm gonna show you here. On the dumbbell snatch, you, the major issue I usually see is people just stand up like it's a deadlift, then they curl it and they press it which isn't what I'm looking for. This should be a fast movement. It should look like this. Pulling all and throwing it up to the sky, okay? So it's a really big movement. You got me? All right. Transitioning, pick up your weight. 40 seconds of dumbbell snatch. Alternating single or double, here we go. Proud of you guys. Dig in and get this workout done with me. So this exercise is really focusing on that back side of the body. It's a hip hinge. This will injury proof your back for you. 10 seconds, let's go. Come on, dig in. Final rep, boom, set it down into the best plank option you can hold, the hardest one. That hardest one is taking a hand away. From there, taking a foot away. From there, drop into your knees. And if this bugs your wrist, you can always come down to your forearms. Okay, 
Hold on, 20 seconds. Come on, come on, no easing up. 15 seconds. Stay in a plank. Push yourself. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. We want to work hard. We want to improve our bodies, improve our lives, how we feel. Rest, transitioning now back to that air squat or jump squat. Let's go. Some jumping if you can. Or air squats just fine too. Do what you need to do. Like I was saying, you gotta try hard if you wanna see changes and you wanna get results and you wanna feel good. Bring it. We're at just a little bit over 30 minutes today. Full workout. Bring it and then go live your best day. Come on. Breaks coming up. Don't ease up. Keep jumping if you can. Yes. Come on, jump if you can. Five seconds. All right, 50 second break. One last time through. Bring your best energy for me, okay? I'm gonna grab a drink of water. No hidden tricks or anything. One time through that circuit. And then we will stretch and breathe and cool down, okay? Think about it, two and a half minutes work and we're done. We can do this, right? Yeah. All right, we have the double dumbbell snatch. Final set with it. Transitioning, grab the weight. You ready, guys? Let's go. Come on. I'll show you again from the side, just make sure we got it. Boom. Explosive, fast, firing the hips, firing the big muscles of the back, throwing the dumbbells skyward. It's one of my favorite exercises. Come on, 10 seconds. Three seconds. All right, done with the dumbbells for today. Feels good, right? Into those planks, let's go. Hold the most difficult option you can to start. Draw that belly button in. Don't hold your breath. Final plank of the day. Half done, 20 seconds to the, to the jump squat. So make sure your hips aren't up, hips aren't sagging. Nice straight line, ankle through your neck. Hold it, hold it. Three, two. Nice. Last set of jump squats. You bring me everything you can. Let's go. Jump if you can. If not, quick air squats with me. Nice and deep, nothing shallow. Come on. Final 30 seconds of the day. Let's go, all out now. No more rest. We'll rest later. 20 seconds, come on. Go, go, go. Jump if you can. Keep jumping. 10 seconds. Come on, bring it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Five seconds. Yes. All right, team, way to go. Catch your breath, catch your breath, breathe with me. All we gotta do is cool down, how great is that? Don't skip this part. This is part of the healing process. I want you to come out of this gradually. I don't want you walking off just yet, okay? Catch your breath. Just a few deep breaths here to start. All right, I hope you loved the workout today, you'll see Tons of power, tons of strength, tons of heart rate conditioning, every single muscle in your body used. It's really a total package workout, okay? Awesome, let's open up at the chest.
All right, let's do a forward fold. So it's gonna look like this, nice wide stance. You're gonna tip at the hip, and you can release your neck, upper back, low back. You can support on your thighs if you need to, or your shins, or the floor, or even cross and just hang. Whatever feels good to you is good with me. Oh yeah, heart rate's coming down. Breathing, filling the belly, filling the chest. All right, slowly rotating back up to standing. Quickly wipe the back of your hands, in front of your hands on your shirt, on your shorts or your shirt, and then open up. It's just hard to do this stretch if the hands are slippery. So getting those hands away from the hips while using straight arms, it'll really help open your shoulders. I call this the anti-slouching stretch. All right, so good. We're normally so rounded forward, so getting a little bit of this, so good. You can tell I'm excited. I can barely sit still today. This is good. Thanks for being with me. Always fun to work out with you guys. All right, back to that forward fold one more time. Nice wide stance, tipping at the hip, releasing any tension in the hamstrings, low back, upper back, neck. Yeah, so we work this part of the body in those bridges and then also in the dumbbell snatch. So we really want to make sure we remove any tension, any soreness. All right, soften the knees, slowly come back up to standing. Let's grab one, one shoe. If you need to balance on something, you can. I like using two hands, really stretching, getting a nice gentle stretch in the front of that thigh. So good. Let's do that, but for the other side, team. You guys feeling good? You made it. You did all the hard work today, I'm proud of you. So if you're doing this workout again, just think of it, can I do more weights, can I do more reps? You know, did I take a lot of breaks, so could I take less breaks? Um, that's showing you that you're progressing, you're getting stronger, you're getting fitter, so. Use that as a barometer as you go through the workout again. All right, gentle back bend. So you're gonna reach up to the sky and then just tilt back a little bit, feeling a nice pull in the abs, trying to get as tall as you can. Fingertips reaching towards the sun. All right, let's just do a rotation. Leave the hips squared forward and just reach around. Same thing, other side. So just a nice little twist in the spine, releasing any tension that way. All right, and three meaningful shoulder rolls to finish out the day, breathing in on the way up, out on the way down. Two more. Release any tension you've been storing in your neck, upper back. Last one. All right, you did it. Thanks for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.